Number 1, the Indri. Also known as the Babakoto, is the largest of the surviving lemur species. They weigh between 7 and 10 kilograms when fully mature, they are herbivorous species with black and white coats. They cannot be kept in captivity. The only way to see an Indri is to go to Madagascar. An Indri lives from 15 to 18 years in the wild. Indri groups are quite vocal, communicating with one another through singing, roaring, and other vocalizations. It plays a significant role in Malagasy mythology and legend. It is still hunted in spite of taboos. According to many legends, the Indri and humans share a common ancestry. In one legend, two brothers lived together in the forest until one of them decided to leave and cultivate the land. That brother became the first human, and the brother who stayed in the forest became the first Indri. The Indri laments the loss of his brother. Number 2, Bamboo Lemurs. Also known as gentle lemurs. Their muzzles are short with tails as long as their body. Bamboo is their food and home. Lacalautra bamboo lemurs spends much of their time in water and can swim well, unlike other lemur species. While not all bamboo contains cyanide, the golden bamboo lemur selects cyanide containing growing tips. It is unknown how lemurs detoxify cyanide from their diets. Golden bamboo lemurs were discovered in 1870. It was believed to have gone extinct in the early 20th century while rediscovered in 1972. Changes in rainfall patterns result in fewer fresh leaves and shoots. To survive, lemurs eat tough bamboo stalks. As a result, their teeth are severely damaged. Climate change may starve the bamboo lemur to extinction. Number 3, Ruffed Lemur. The thick ruff around their necks gives them their name. There are two species of ruffed lemur, the black and white ruffed lemur, and the red ruffed lemur. They are loud, raucous, and highly vocal, communicating and warning each other of predators with at least 12 sounds. The black and white ruffed lemur is the most vocal. They are the second loudest primate in the world, after the howler monkey. Despite being large, they exhibit reproductive traits more common in small nocturnal lemurs, such as short gestation periods and relatively large litter sizes of 2 to 3. The rough lemur builds nests for its newborns, the only primate that does, carries them by mouth, and stores them while it forages. Infants are altricial. They reproduce in captivity and have been gradually reintroduced into the wild since 1997. Number 4, Mouse Lemur. Mouse Lemur has short limbs and large eyes. They forage at night for insects, fruit, flowers and other plants. Mouse Lemur is the smallest primate. Madame Bertha's Mouse Lemur has the smallest size, however, its weight fluctuates depending on daylight duration. In 1992 there were two species of mouse lemur known, by 2016 there were 24 species. The mouse lemur has the smallest brain of any primate, weighing just 2 grams. Number 5, I.I. The largest nocturnal primate in the world, rare, solitary and arboreal. It taps trees to locate grubs, then gnaws into the wood with its forward slanting incisors to create a small hole, into which it inserts its narrow middle finger to pull the grubs from. This is known as percussive foraging. I.I.s fill the ecological niche of woodpeckers. The animal has continuously growing incisors, unique among primates, extremely large ears with highly sensitive hearing, and a middle finger that is skeletal in appearance and serves as its primary sensory organ. Ball and socket joints on the finger give it a wide range of motion for reaching prey or scooping out coconuts. 
in response to threats or excitement, it raises its guard hairs and doubles in size. Due to its opposable big toes, I can hang from branches. Big and round eyes help it see at night. I eyes are considered unlucky by the local population, and are often killed or poached when they are seen. Some say that the appearance of an eye eye in a village predicts the death of a villager. Number 6, Sifaka. Malagasy culture often views Sifakas as sun worshippers, likely because they bask in the early morning sunlight before heading out to forage. The Sifaka has special adaptations for grooming, including a toilet claw on its second toe, and a tooth comb. Their tall, slender and evenly spaced teeth are used to comb and clean hair. It is common to see individuals licking and combing each other's hair when they are resting. Sifakas maintain an upright position while leaping from tree trunk to tree trunk, and moving along branches. From tree to tree, they can easily fly across open expanses of nearly 40 feet, 12.2 meters. Group members huddle together on cold nights. The Sifaka usually avoids attacks with its agile acrobatics in trees high above the ground. They have been known to attack by biting and scratching, and have even been witness fighting off a Madagascar ground boa. Number 7. Ring-tailed lemur. They're named for their two-foot-long tails, which have 13 alternating black and white rings. It lives in southern regions of Madagascar, symbolizing Madagascar National Parks due to its widespread recognition on the island. The ring-tailed lemur is highly social, living in groups of up to 30 individuals. In common with other lemurs, this species marks its territory with scent glands. Spur marking is a unique scent marking behavior performed by males. They engage in stink fights by wafting their tails with their scent. Among the most vocal primates, the ring-tailed lemur uses numerous vocalizations. Despite lacking a large brain, the ring-tailed lemur can organize sequences, understand basic arithmetic operations, and choose tools based on their functionality. Lemurs strengthen bonds between individuals and groups through social grooming. Their teeth, which protrude from their jaws at an angle, are used to brush off debris from their fur, just like the Sifakas. Lemurs have a second tongue, called the sublingua that is used to remove debris from the tooth comb. The sublingua is smaller than the primary tongue, sits below it, and lacks taste buds. Number 8. Fork-marked lemur. Its name refers to the two black stripes that run up from the eyes, converge on the top of the head, and run down the back. They have dark rings around their eyes, and large membrane ears. Fork-marked lemurs are among the least studied of all lemurs. They are phylogenetically distinct from the rest of the family, and are considered to be a sister group. Lemurs eat tree gums and sap as part of their diet. Their long tongue helps them obtain gum and nectar, and their long cecum helps them digest gum. Number 9. Crown Lemur. There is a distinctive brown-orange crown on the top of the head of this species. A female has a gray body and an orange crown, and a male has a darker reddish-brown body and a black and orange crown. Crown lemurs live for approximately 20 years. They are highly intelligent and have pseudo-opposable thumbs and binocular vision. When jumping from branch to branch, the crown lemur uses its long non-prehensile tail for balance. Number 10. Black lemur. There are two species of them. Blue-eyed black lemurs have blue eyes, whereas common black lemurs have brown or orange eyes, as well as ear tufts. The black lemur displays sexual dimorphism in coloration, while males are solid black, females are brown-gray with white tufts around their ears. 
The male is born the same color as the female and turns black within five to six weeks of birth. As babies are young and cling to their mother's fur, this helps camouflage them. They are the only seed dispersers for many tree species in their range. They are also pollinators for travelers' palms. Number 11. Woolly Lemurs Woolly lemurs resemble owls because of their large eyes, short muzzle, small rounded heads and mostly hidden ears. Known also as woolly indrids or abahis, woolly lemurs are the smallest species in the indrid family. Like many leaf eaters, they need long naps to digest their food. These lemurs live in groups of two to five animals, typically consisting of parents and several generations of their offspring. In Avahi species, extra pair copulations have never been observed. Number 12. Red-bellied lemur. The red-bellied lemur is a medium-sized primate with a luxuriant chestnut brown coat. This lemur is endemic to the eastern Madagascan rainforest. Especially noticeable in males are patches of white skin below the eyes, giving the appearance of a teardrop. Number 13. Common Brown Lemur. Five currently recognized species of lemur were considered subspecies of common brown lemur until 2001. They are commonly misidentified in images and texts, and often confused with other species or with various other unrelated hybrids. They exhibit little to no sexual dichromatism. Number 14. Fat-tailed dwarf lemur. Our list of lemurs wouldn't be complete without mentioning the fat-tailed dwarf lemur. It is one of the ten species of the genus dwarf lemur. They are larger than mouse lemurs, and smaller than bamboo lemurs. Their heads are globular compared to the fox-like heads of the lemurs, but their muzzles are more pointed. It is the first tropical mammal and the only primate in which hibernation has been demonstrated. Estivation rather than hibernation would be a more accurate term when referring to the state of dormancy during summer. It can hibernate for seven months. When hibernating, this lemur does not regulate its body temperature like animals in temperate regions. When its sleeping hole is not well insulated, its body temperature fluctuates according to the outside temperature. During its period of dormancy, it utilizes fat stored in its tail as a source of energy.